So welcome back to my tutorial on object detection using TensorFlow pre-trained model. So in this tutorial, we are going to train our data set using the Google Colab. And before you start, uh, I will need you to download this file. It's named uh, Data Explain Model Training. So basically what you will do is it will, it's a, a series of codes that you help us run the program so that we can train our model. And um, so once you have downloaded it, uh, you need to place it in your Google Drive. So as you can see in my screen, it's now in my Google Drive. So in order for me to run it, I will have to go right click on the item or in on the file. So you will see preview open with all this. So you open with Google Colab Laboratory. So you click on it and so wait for it to load. So you will have, you will enter this uh, folder. So um, for you to run, you have to go to, uh, okay, sorry, before you start, go to edit, go to notebook settings. So for the hardware accelerator, we will change from uh, none to CPU. Or for those who is in CPU, then it's fine. So you save and um, you can actually run it as a whole because I already, um, write down the important codes or I already type out the important codes. So what you have to do is just run it, run all. So you will let the program to run. But um, I think in my next few tutorial, I will take some time to explain what is actually happening in, uh, in each of the cell. But for now, if you are just uh, wanting to train your model, um, you can just Go ahead and do it and uh, go to this URL. So we, because we are trying to link our or uh, connect our Google Drive to the Google Colab so that we can download the preparation file to our Google Colab. So in order for that to happen, we have to go to this uh, URL and then click on my, your own uh, Google Drive account, allow, and we have to copy this and paste it here. So once you enter, it will automatically start continue running. And uh, I want to say that uh, this uh, this part of my tutorial actually I got some inspiration from Eddie Electronics, I think. So please go ahead and go to the YouTube channel to su support them. So yeah, so we will let it run all the way. Your program should start running if uh, there's no arrows that is seen uh, on the above lines or cells. So because for my case, I'm running a small amount of data sets. So I would reach a pretty low loss uh, very early on. But uh, I would recommend people who are running a prediction mod, a object detection model to have at least a thousand, uh, a few th a thousand images. So I would recommend you to at least run the program for at least five hours or until your loss function is is consistently below 0 0.05 but as you can see for my case is because i'm using a low number of uh, training data sets and testing data sets so i'll reach, reach reach a very low loss function quite easily but uh because this is just for tutorial sake object detection training you see you have model c dot c k p t uh, dash two nine three zero uh, depending on your training status and uh, sequence for my case right now is two nine three zero so if i want to save my progress at currently i will need to copy the last four digit of your model dot c k p t so as i can as i said because i want to save the progress i click stop here so after a while it should stop once it stopped running, I will go to this for file and I will change the x cross xxx to uh, 2930 and I will click play on this. So once you run it and uh, it's successful, what you'll see is you will see this uh, writing pipeline config file to new graph. Once we zip our file and name it as model graph, 
we will need to copy it from the model graph.zip to our share drive so at this point of time uh, there's basically two options so you can either continue running your training not sure whether you will run again so as you can see um, it's going to rerun at record step at 2930 which is the file that we the last our last stop as you can see here and uh, training yeah so it will continue from 2930 so if you go to your google drive you see that you have some new things here you have your model graph dot zip save here so yeah so you keep running until uh, you have reached your satisfied uh, loss so as recommended it's either below 0 0.05 or uh, it, the loss itself has plateau um, if you decide to stop the entire training you will need to run this this cell basically what this cell do is it will zip the entire model master into a zip file and copy it from it to your share drive so let's run it so once you have finished running everything I mean both the zip file you can go to your google drive to see whether the zip file itself is inside your share drive so as you can see my model graph and my model master zip file are both inside my share drive so with that that's the end of my tutorial if you have any questions feel free to leave your questions down in the comment section below if not thank you for watching and see you next time in my next tutorial i will tell you teach you how you can execute the file so that you can do your object detection proper